But the Indianapolis chapter of the NAACP says all that is a good start, but we are far from finished. News 8's multicultural reporter Katia Winfrey joins us with this story. Alexis and Phil, tensions following George Floyd's death boiled over here in Indianapolis. In the days after, we saw violence, protests, and witnesses, civilians, and lawmakers, and police vow to press for change. And for some, even though Floyd died two years ago, the push for justice lives on. A movement demanding police reform transformed Indiana's streets in the middle of a global pandemic. Some argued that there was another pandemic, one of police brutality. COVID actually gave us a chance to really step back and start determining what's important to us or how we go about treating people. Tawan Garrett is vice president of the Greater Indianapolis NAACP. He says the outrage that sprang out of George Floyd's death propelled people around the state to not just stand up and talk, but to act. In order to make the community better, you have to understand your community. And the community is not by the loudest voice. In two years' time, the state government passed legislation mandating officers undergo de-escalation training, provided funding for expanding body cameras, and implemented bans on chokeholds. feel well about the steps that we're making, but we still got a ways to go. I mean, there's still underlying issues. Number one is, at the heart of it, it's a respect, and you have to respect the person as an individual. In tandem with other steps to create police reform, IMPD partnered with Indy Public Safety Foundation to provide racial and cultural sensitivity training to new recruits while also convening the IMPD Diversity Inclusion Council. Garrett says now is the prime time to adapt and not let it just be a phase. You're never going to be there. Times change. So you have to adjust with the time, adapt, adapt and change. And that's the key thing. And I also reached out to the mayor's office, and I'm told they are moving forward with civilian appointees and its use of force review, bystander intervention efforts, and they are optimistic about efforts to keep people out of jail with the recent opening of the new Community Justice Campus. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.